Hello, uh, I'm Nicola Piovesan. I'm originally from Italy, but now living in Estonia. And I'm the game developer of Encodia. And originally I'm a filmmaker and film producer, so I started my career making movies. And Encodia is my first game. In Encodia I took care of a lot of things, of course all the concept and the game design, uh, the writing, the art, coding and many other things. But I had also a, a small indie team that helped me with music, sound design, some animation, some 3D models. Stars. Hello there. Can we have a peek inside? Encodia is an adventure game. Originally, uh, I thought of giving the, the game style and humor of Monkey Island, which is uh, one of my favorite games that I used to play when I was a teenager. And all of that, that game style and humor in a setting uh, similar to Blade Runner, so like a futuristic cyberpunk dystopia. I also put elements that are uh, taken from Miyazaki, uh, the Miyazaki of Studio Ghibli, which I really like and um, for his creativity and the sweetness and the, and the cuteness of his characters and environments. So I've tried to put all of that also uh, in Encodia. For me it was, you know, a, a new experience coming from movie industry. So it was great to see, you know, how little by little the game become to, to life and how the, the small pieces fitting together to, to create a game, to create the puzzle and the narrative. So the most amazing thing, yeah, was giving birth to the whole game, you know, piece by piece, and from having first some background and implementing characters, solving puzzle and dialogues, and then later on also with the voice acting. And it was an amazing process. The most important feature of Encodia, in my opinion, is the immersion and the world where it's set, because we put a lot of attention on creating this, this universe, and this gives a, a truly immersive feeling to the player, uh, also sound-wise, so not only visually, but uh, the whole world is really coming alive. And also the possibility to, to switch players that, with the robot and the little girl, and two players that are very different each other, also in the way they can interact with characters or solving puzzles. So continuous switching characters help the player uh, to get attached to the story and to the characters themselves and also uh, solving the puzzles and proceed with the narrative. It feels weird, but I guess I remember a name. 